Hey you beautiful people welcome back to a new video on our channel read travel become i'm really sorry the videos have been a little inconsistent i took a two week break uh, lots of uh, overwhelming stuff was going on and i needed a break so i'm sorry for that but here we are now with interesting content lined up fresh content lined up in this video i am going to recommend five books which you can finish in a day these are short books thin books and all of these books are fiction books now why am i an advocate of thin fiction books uh, if you have been following me since, since quite some time uh, to the people who want to start a reading habit who want to develop a reading habit i always recommend that you first you start with fiction and second that you pick up small books now what happens is when you pick up small easy thin books you have that innate confidence in your subconscious that you can finish books that is why the more the more you read small fiction books the more you have that confidence and then you can easily pick up new books which are you know uh, fatter in length and greater in length so i'm going to be recommending five such books which you can easily pick up these are very very interesting reads they will compel you to finish them in a day so make sure you watch the video till the end you may never know which thought or fact may resonate with you and change the course of your life so let's get started The first book on the list is Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck. Now this is a very American book. It's a novella. It's it's very American in its nature. So I was having a conversation with one of my American friends and he told me about this book. He told me that this book is taught in a lot of American schools and American literature uh, groups. This book is about two ranch workers to my migrant workers these people travel around california in search of work during the great depression uh, what these people talk how do they conversate what dreams do they have what aspirations do they have forms the crux of the story so these two characters george and lenny are very popular in the american pop culture uh, you might even you might have heard there's a movie of my sentiment also which is a very very popular movie if you are someone who likes books which are very sad in their core nature they they will make you think they will make you feel for those characters then definitely pick up this book these two characters have dreams of making it big but how they are constrained by their uh, surroundings how they are constrained by the society these two people talk about this and they are traveling all around california by while having this con these conversations there are many such supporting characters who have their own personal spaces personal aspirations too and how the concept of loneliness the concept of economic depression and you know racism all of these things collectively form the novel uh, so yeah if you like the narrative of such kind of books do pick up this book it's a good read you can finish it in a day the next on a list is a very popular book you might have heard about this book the book is called before the coffee gets cold it's written by toshikazu kawaguchi i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing it right it's a japanese novel one of the most refreshing books i've ever read uh, i remember i vividly remember when i first picked up this book i started reading it 5 pages 10 pages and i didn't even realize that i had completed the book because the story was that gripping it's very very fresh so the story is set in tokyo uh, in a cafe the cafe is supposed to be a time traveling cafe so here people can visit and there's a certain table and a certain chair where if you sit you can travel back into time now there are some rules to this so there are a certain rules which are present when you have to travel back in time and if you break any of these rules things become very very messy and complicated so now this is the concept of the cafe and various people visit this cafe having their own backgrounds and having their own agendas to do time traveling so it's a very it's a very interesting read the characters are very interesting all japanese characters and some of the stories mix with each other they converge with each other so it's refreshing to see uh, this kind of writing so very very easy to read book and very short book you can easily easily complete it on a day so if you like this kind of a concept if you like science fiction mild science fiction it's not really science fiction it's drama with a hint of science fiction so yeah you can definitely pick up this book next on the list is jonathan livingston seagull a novel by richard bach it's a novel and not exactly a novel this is one of the most inspiring fiction books i've ever read very very short book but if you think about the story once you start appreciating the narrative if you extrapolate the logic of this fiction book to other worldly things it will blow your mind it is literally relevant in any era if, if even if you read it in a prehistoric time modern times or even if you will read it in the future this book will make a lot of sense if you think deeply so the story of this novella is around a seagull his name is jonathan livingston seagull so this seagull is obviously living in a herd of other seagulls on a remote island 
so this herd of seagulls has always had a certain mentality about flying like they are constrained to how high they can fly and there's a certain way of flying and you cannot fly more than that but this particular seagull the protagonist of the story he finds out that he really loves flying and he thinks that there might be other tools and techniques which he can use to become a better bird he tries doing that but suddenly the society outcasts him uh, they do not accept him because of his eccentric methods so he basically goes out of the flock and tries to find some other people who are like him and by doing this this particular bird meets some wiser birds birds who have transcended to the uh, higher levels of consciousness and higher levels of morality so he meets these kind of people and learns wisdom from them and learns how it is how important it is to work on yourself and what aspirations are and what dreams are and after that also he understands that when he has learned this concept he has learned this art of being the best how it how important it is for him to uh, teach this these things to other people and make a cult of his own and you know spread this knowledge to become better birds it's a very complex novel if you think about it i'm i'm still getting goosebumps if you like think about what the seagull meant so on the surface it's a very easy story things are happening in a sequence he's doing that he's doing that he's going there he's going here but once you start appreciating the inner metaphor of the writer it's a brilliant book and it's a very very short book i remember i was hooked onto this book when i first started reading this book so yeah do pick up this book and let me know in the comment section if you have read the book and let me know what did you think about the book if you have read the book so next on the list is one book which i recommend frequently whenever somebody asks me which book should i start with which book should i pick up uh, give me a short book which will be interesting and very easy to read i have literally recommended this to everyone who ever asks me this question the book is called five people you meet in heaven by mitch albom the same writer who has written tuesdays with mori this book so why do i recommend this book because the plot of this book is not only magical not only simplistic but the inner meaning and the inner interest which sparks when you start reading uh, the character story is something which is very different according to me this book is very different from mitch albom's other books uh, i have read most many of his works they generally are very 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 stuck to faith and spirituality and christianity but tuesdays with mori and five people you meet in heaven are a little different so what happens in the story is there's a guy uh, eddie he is a maintenance personnel of an amusement park uh, he is an old man and while saving the life of a little girl uh, he dies and when he dies he goes to heaven and in heaven he actually meets five people who have been present in his life in some way or the other and who had a major contribution in his life and he didn't even know about this uh, all his life eddie had thought that his life is meaningless his his life is lonely he does not have a purpose and he is just existing but once he starts talking to these people which he meets in heaven he he truly gets to understand the true significance of his life and the true significance of his existence uh it's a very very interesting read mitch albom has used superb language and superb setting and you know it evokes the right emotions out of you when you read this book so definitely read this book if you want an interesting read and you want to complete a book and let me know in the comment section uh what other mitch album books do you think everybody else should read and the fifth and the last book on this list is the little prince which is basically a cultural phenomenon in the world of literature in the world of books this can be called as a children's story but it has a profound meaning a profound impact on the readers uh, this is a this is a story about a little prince who visits earth who visits planets asteroids many different interplanetary spaces he also meets a pilot who's crashed into the desert and these people start uh, conversations around life philosophy the meaning of life the meaning of little things in life this particular little prince has a lot of adventures and after every adventure he's learning something new about life so this is a feel good book it's a feel good novella with uh, interesting characters lovable characters uh, the copy which i had back in india was filled with illustrations so there are these cute little illustrations of the little prince if you are a parent make your children read this book because it it inculcates the value basic values of life uh, in children so it's a beautiful book uh, for adults and children both uh, you can definitely pick up little prince it's a very popular book uh, many people know about this book it has been translated into plays into dramas into movies and you know lots of lots of videos so this is a very popular book. you can definitely check it out so that's all for this video guys thank you so much for watching the video till here if you found any value in this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video 
do let me know in the comment section which of the books you have read and what did you think about those or the books which other people should read this was a small list of the top favorites of mine uh, i have many more recommendations which i would be recommending in the future videos so stay tuned for those videos and yeah thank you so much for all the love and support that you have shown on our channel read travel become i'm really really grateful for all the lovely comments and likes and you know shares that you guys have always always supported me with so that's all for this video see you in the next one bye bye